everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, here we go. I don't know why I wanted to sound like Batman temporarily. Oh, this is good! Huge rate of fire. Uh, Headless Baby, Book of Shadows, although it looks like a Triforce book. Quelk FVGX. FGX gonna give it to ya. He gon- okay, well, you know, let's keep the... Uh, memes at like maybe a little bit of a lower concentration to begin with here. Bad trip was not really what I was looking for to start with, but, but to be honest with you, I'm like actually really, really thrilled with the way that this run has started. The huge rate of fire is so good. Headless Baby is, uh, at the very least, that was potentially dangerous, at the very least decent, and Book of Shadows is probably one of the best base bar items in the game, if I'm being 100% honest, so I really feel like this run has great potential for success. Where will I use Book of Shadows? It's a fantastic question. I don't have a great answer for it just yet. Thunder Thighs is also really good, even though it, of course, does come with a speed downgrade. Um, the the benefits that it entails are substantial, and I'm pretty stoked about the uh, opportunities that we're gonna have to, you know, crack open these pots. And Tinted Rocks are not gonna be a conundrum. Pretty decent opportunity to get into crawl spaces. We all know what's up here. I'm probably going to ignore a little bit of the uh, insanity that is the rock permutations on that room, but I'm, I'm really pleased with this right now. This is a great start. A cool start at the very least. And a speed upgrade is exactly what we needed after that, um, obviously, a little bit subpar start in terms of uh, the... I mean, it's not a subpar start, but the speed downgrade from Thunder Thighs makes it somewhat subpar. So we definitely should use Book of Shadows kind of on the regular here, like we have no reason not to because we have so many different uh, batteries lying on the ground, but at the same time I'm kind of like, we don't really need to use Book of Shadows. It's not a waste to use it because we don't need it, but at the same time we like really, really don't need it. Obviously it's in our best interest to destroy all the poop. It's faster to walk around over it probably, but I can't say for sure. Alright, this is actually great. Hopefully we get small rock here. We did not, but still, I, it's hard for me to be too bent out of shape about it. Oh, we're on an XL floor, so I actually, I didn't realize, but I fucked it already. I took red heart damage. I did take red heart damage, yes, so we're probably not going to get a deal with the devil here. I didn't even notice. That's my bad, I should have paid more attention. I am going to blame that mildly, mildly on the bad trip pill, though. And I think I have a pretty good case to do that, because that bad trip hill took away my spirit heart, so the one time I got hit, it screwed me. Still, we may get a deal with the devil if the game is deciding to be lucky. And uh, Headless Baby destroys Blue Larry Jr., which also gives us a spirit heart and a speed upgrade, which is totally fine. Uh, continuing a recent trend of, of, let's be honest, pardon my French, but fucking it up a little bit. Uh, and not getting that first floor deal with the devil. It's disappointing, but at the same time, hey, you know, life goes on. Um, hopefully we can, you know, get a crawl space, maybe a black market or something on this floor. I just, I got all this HP burning a hole in my pocket. I gotta get rid of it, man. Um, that's why we're destroying all these rocks. Hopefully we come across one of those rooms that's like, ha ha, you can't get this item unless you have thunder, wait, wait, is that, you have thunder, th oh, shit. There goes Polyphemus. Um, yeah, so hopefully we come across one of those, but I, I'm skeptical. Those rooms are very rare. Another speed upgrade is so good. And Lemon Party is a great pill for, for some point in the future. This is another Tinted Rock. And it's a Golden Chest, so I can't really go for it right now as much as I might like to. I'll tell you what, we'll drop Lemon Party outside. Got Judgment out of it. Uh, lemon Party is better. Yeah, no, Lemon Party is better, I think, but if we get a Demon Judgment, we can do something with it. Let me put it this way. Lemon Party is better right now. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. I will open one of these. And that gave me a, a Spirit Heart. I think it was worth a key. Poison Touch is fine. Not amazing. This is a regular Judgment, so I've decided that we're just going to ignore it, I guess. Oh, we did find it. I was not even going to look there. Oh, that was dumb. I was not even going to look there, but I decided to go for it. Um, because of... The fact that it was like a shortcut. I know that with two bombs you can like work your way from a crawl space into a black market, but I don't really, uh... I don't really care. <laughs> and also I don't have the necessary number of bombs. Really should be using Book of Shadows to not take dumb spirit heart damage, that's like a given, but... Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's a, a huge deal. 
It would be nice to do, but I haven't practiced it, so I, I would probably fail at it, is my guess. You'll be, oh, don't be so negative. Well, I've never done it before, so, like, I, I'm not a negative person. I actually tend to be very optimistic, in spite of the fact that I make jokes about how we're all going to turn to loam one day. But, um, you know, you got to practice something in advance. It's like, hey, I'm going to jump my motorcycle over the Grand Canyon. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. Oh, don't be negative. You'll probably, no, you, you're going to die, probably. Like, you should be negative about that. You should practice that several times before you actually, you know, go through with it on your own. I don't know how you practice jumping your motor motorcycle over the Grand Canyon, but you know, do take a take a crack at it is all I'm trying to say. Um, good, we're we're done with this floor. I think I'm gonna open the golden chest. Hopefully, we'll get a key out of it. Lemon party is what we'll take with us. Ugh, the tick. It's not bad, but I hate the fact that it takes away our choice from us. So, we haven't really gotten so much stronger on this floor, but we do have a lot of spirit arts. We have a guaranteed deal with the devil on the next floor. And, of course, you never know what you're going to get with uh, with Thunder Thighs. The fact that we managed to pick up uh, my best friend from it is actually pretty awesome in and of itself. So, I'm just going to drop Lemon Party right here. Saves us a slight bit of hassle. Might not strictly be worth it, but that's okay. And I'm not going to use my key to open that just yet. I'll tell you what, though. I think that's a decent use of Book of Shadows. Defensive items, I don't mind uh, burning in a situation like that. And then we got uh, one full red heart, which is me trying to put a positive spin on it. Not a huge fan of a full red heart for one key. But we do also get, you know, the experience of fighting these enemies. I've had this idea kicking around in my head for uh, a roguelike for a while. And I know that ideas when it comes to game design are, are you know, a, a dime a dozen. I, I have, I've been spending like three hours a night learning programming. So you believe you me, I understand that, you know, just having a good idea is not enough. But I've been I've been thinking about, um, you know, a, a roguelike-ish game similar to Isaac that uses experience points instead of items. But then it's, it's almost like, I guess, now that I think about it, it's my ideal game. It's a mashup of Isaac and Nuclear Throne. Where, once you hit the next level, you get a choice of items, like a choice of, of mutations, basically. Um, I have pretty much ripped off those ideas wholesale, now that I think about it, and now I feel like uh, an unoriginal jackass. But, uh, I, you know, I, I'm surprised that, you know, I'm not surprised that Isaac uh, has inspired so many similar games. And I, I know that it's not just Isaac, but, you know, I'm not surprised that it's it's been part of, like, this new wave of roguelikes and roguelites. Um, but I am surprised that so few of them have taken kind of like a, an action RPG style to them. Eh, bad guess. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised that they all kind of function on the principle of picking up items. Uh, I can't really think of too many that, that use experience. Nuclear Throne is one, but, you know, Nuclear Throne and Isaac are, are fairly dissimilar games to begin with, so... Um, I don't know, it's just, it's interesting to me how many of them kind of take the idea and then just apply like a different skin to it. Which is still like, it's a lot of work. But, uh, just a little, little surprised, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. You know, I am going to buy, I'm going to buy some time with this judgment. I'm going to use my, my, my imagination hole, because I want your HP. Uh, you know, it's Lion's Law. Any musical impression becomes Bob Dylan after long enough, and any uh, impression of an actual person, yeah, I'll take it. Any impression of an actual person becomes um, Michael Caine. No one else here. No one like me. I'm special. Master Wayne. I'm special. I got to make you into the Dark Knight. Give it to me. <laughs> I don't know where that was going. And it should have stopped long before it got there. Because I'm Alfred. Alfred. He's Alfred. He's got to wait on you hand and wait. He's got to wait on your every need. Give it to him. I don't know. I don't know, man. There's there's a joke in there somewhere. He's Alfred. Alfred. So Alfred. People even know that song? The only reason I think that song has any enduring legacy now is because of uh, Lost in Translation. I, so I think I heard that song on the radio like a week ago or something. It was like, wow. That's like, I know it's a real song, I'm just surprised that it's, it's still kind of out there. Here we go. Please. Pop up. Thank you. They're talking in the roundtable chat that I can see right now. 
If we were in Seinfeld, which Seinfeld character would you be? I'm not ashamed to admit, I think I'm a little bit Georgie. Everyone wants to think that they're- oh, that was bad. Everyone wants to think that they're, like, probably Jerry, because he's the least weird. Maybe they want to be Kramer, because, you know, Kramer's the zaniest. Um, I, I honestly think I got some George-like qualities. There have been times when I have considered eating a fast food burger out of the trash. It's in the bag! What does it matter? Um, I, I don't think that I'm on George-like. You know, George had some good jobs, man. He worked for the Yankees in like a front office position for a while. It's not like he was a complete failure, he just had some idiosyncrasies. I hope that I didn't lose enough spirit arts to compromise my chance of getting a, uh, that was not good. Compromise my chances of getting a deal with the devil. And by chances, I mean my guarantee of getting a deal with the devil. People are gonna be like, why the fuck did you take soy milk? I took soy milk because it's weird and I love having a high rate of fire and it's bad, but it, it you know, just makes it that much more amazing if you actually manage to pull out a win with it. And I was really hoping that'd be Lump of Coal, but even though it's not Lump of Coal, I gotta admit that Judas's Shadow... I'm gonna just pick up all this money to start with here. I gotta admit that Judas's Shadow uh, definitely makes me feel less bad about uh, this whole soy milk thing. I didn't realize we'd get as much money as we've gotten here. I should have picked up the other three cents, because, like I was getting at, we're not going to be able to get back in there, but that's okay. Alright, so now, oh god, I almost walked over that. Uh, we've got to be very, very cautious about our HP. Did the judgment pay out? I think we want this first and foremost, and then the 9 volt would be nice. So I'm thinking our damage is going to be pretty okay. Judgment did not pay out. Okay, come on, three cents. Oh, my hero. Okay, so we actually, we don't need to be on permanent Polaroid invincibility or anything, so that's a good get for us. Um, I'm, I'm happy with this. I think we've got a, a winnable soy milk run. Uh, big things for us would be piercing shots. Like, piercing shots will change the game by somewhat mitigating the ridiculous knockback from the just amount of soy milk shots we're shooting out, so... Um, I wouldn't expect our damage to be, like, incredible right off the bat here, but I expect it to be fairly solid. I've squandered, like, our entire period of invincibility here, um, by popping pills, but we did get 48-hour energy out of it, which is, you know, well worth it. And I gotta admit, you know, the damage from Dark Judas here is not really making me super thrilled, but it's definitely better than it was before, so, you know, we're not taking 100 years to kill Little Chubb, and I think it gives us an awesome baseline to build on in the future here. But you gotta admit, normally, you know, you'd be expecting to do a little bit faster damage to Peep with Dark Judas, even if he didn't have any other damage upgrades, which we did get because we did pick up, uh, you know, Meat just before. Meat's not an incredible damage upgrade. I always, like, I overrate Meat, and I think I overrate the Halo a little bit, um, in terms of, like, how much damage, or even DPS they actually give. But, um, yeah, it, it's still something, and I gotta admit, you know, you don't expect to be taken you know, maybe 45 seconds to fight Peep here. Part of it is that he keeps getting ricocheted, but... You know, that's on me! I took soy milk, so... I also feel that, like, because soy milk is a special item, I have, like, an obligation item to pick... or an obligation to pick it up. Is it special? Okay, I'm gonna stop, but... I don't even know who sings that song! I should at least learn that! Before I, uh... Before I go full-on karaoke with it. Yeah, I'll use it here. I think we probably will end up taking damage on our way into the curse room as a result, so it's not really, like, the best idea. But we could always just wait for, like, another room and then go into the curse room, because we got 9 volt. It only takes two rooms to get a full charge. I forgot I should be cracking more of these open. Swallowed penny or counterfeit penny? <clears throat> um... I don't think it matters. I mean, swallowed penny is worse for a situation like this, but much better. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about... My face is just summed up completely by Isaac's face right now. Now that I think about it, isn't counterfeit penny better in like all situations? No. It's... No, no, no. Let me think about this. It's better... I'm just gonna sacrifice the half spirit heart to come in here. And I love it. Uh, Swallowed penny is better if we're taking damage not from a blood bank. If we're taking damage from a blood bank, I think they're the same. If we're finding coins in just a random situation, then I think that uh, counterfeit penny is better. So I think that we usually tend to find coins in a random situation, you know, without any damage being associated with it. So probably counterfeit penny is, uh, you know, tops here. 
Yeah, this is a room where I could take damage. We really gotta start using Book of Shadows all the time, because we can use it once every two rooms. So, like, to not use Book of Shadows once every two rooms, even if it fucks us over and makes it so we don't have it for a boss fight, is a no-brainer, because the cumulative invincibility is gonna be so strong. Can't believe we haven't seen, like, every pill in the game. Oh, it's paralysis! Ah, oh, man, that's like the 1 in 100 chance of paralysis actually hurting us. That hurts pretty bad. But it's alright, we got still a, a good amount of HP and a ton of survivability. Hoping for, again, piercing shots. Piercing shots from our item room would be a huge draw for us. Book of Shadows is also a little bit underrated in that it allows us to get up close and personal with, um... Headless baby, like, you know, these enemies we wouldn't have a chance normally to, to really have a constructive opportunity to hurt them with Headless baby. Instead, because of the fact that we have a Book of Shadows, we can just run in there, get behind them, and, and you know, really, really drop some creep on them, which will speed things up, allow me to maybe kill one more enemy per charge or something like that. So there's some extreme usefulness there. I do want to go shop, I'm kind of hoping it's greed. Again, you know, we're getting some headless baby action here, which is a surprisingly awkward sentence to say. Maybe, maybe an unsurprisingly awkward sentence to say. You get the idea, though. Okay. Please, please. It's gonna take a little while longer to finish this one. You think that's a secret room? I'm willing to try. I'm the greatest man who've ever li who's ever lived. Please pop up. Might want to work on my grammar a little bit before I start bragging again. Uh, Anarchist Cookbook. It's terrible. It's, uh, god-awful garbage. There's a tinted rock in here. Should be, I'll, I'll admit, you know, I should be more diligent about crushing these rocks because it gives me the opportunity to, uh, find a crawl space, but... It's so boring. <laughs> so I'm thinking that what I do here is, uh, get that Book of Shadows charge and then go crush all the mushrooms in the item room. You never know. Good pills. Uh, you know, a speed upgrade would be great. 48 hour energy would pay for itself. Obviously, a magic mushroom is something that I'm on the lookout for, but it's a relatively low cost in order to try this out. Paralysis is one. Bombs are key was the other. Uh, I guess it's one of those things that, you know, it's good to know, but isn't really what we wanted here. And we aren't going to have a Book of Shadows charge for our boss fight unless we, uh, unless we do some more exploration in the other direction. Really hoping that we manage to pick up a, uh, Deal with the devil here. We could still use more damage, and we have a huge leverage when it comes to the amount of uh, HP we have and, you know, survivability. Let's look for a second secret room. Let's look for a second secret room. Had bad luck looking for them lately. This one worked out, though. We know we're not playing a blood bank on this floor, so we might as well just uh, pick that up straight away. And Mega Maw is a boss that you do not need uh, to have... That you do not need to have um, a Book of Shadows for. Relatively easy to dodge. Gotta admit, we're doing pretty good damage here. Still, soy milk is a hindrance, but we could turn it into an, an advantage soon. That was such bad damage towards the end there. And uh, Krampus fight is so good if we get uh, if we get uh, Lump of Coal. If we get, I was gonna say Cube of Meat. Those are two different things. If we get uh, Krampus's head, I think we're gonna be better off with Book of Shadows because we can use it so often. But without Book of Shadows, if we get stuck with uh, Lump of Coal, that's not really getting stuck. Or if, that's not really getting stuck with it. That's you know what we want. Ah, ah! I was so excited. I was sure it was going to happen. You can make the case that maybe we want Krampus's head because of its ability to pretty much kill a boss outright. But I really, really like the the implications of having Book of Shadows. Fuck the shop. We'll head down to the next floor. Depths one, three HP, which is awesome. But we we didn't manage to improve our. Uh, our damage at all, basically. So I'm kind of just chilling out here. I'm using the hanged man to avoid creep, which I now realize is not very smart because that is my own creep. Let's try to take out these hands. The, the hands are the real, real problem for us here. I think we got two of them there. We've made our, our life so much harder on this room. You know what would be a great pickup, actually, if we can get a, a deal with the devil that's good for us? Uh, little Brimstone. I would love Little Brimstone right... Oh! Did we get him? Not quite. I would love Little Brimstone right now. You know, it can soften the enemies up and then, uh, Soy Milk will finish them off a little easier. Oh, right, I can't fly! It's just, uh, normally I can fly. Terrible damage. Might as well. 
High Priestess is, uh, it's an okay card. It has great utility for, like, you know, an enemy with a lot of HP. Apart from that, it's a little... I don't want to say suboptimal, but, you know, it's... It is what it is. You, we're not going to be able to use the High Priestess card to accidentally give ourselves, like, a free deal with the Devil. It, it doesn't have, like, higher level applications. But, it does do a lot of damage to one enemy in particular. Probably a good room to use this on. I mean, you know, we should really use it every time it's available. I do think we've got a great chance of success here. I just worry about what happens when we get to the womb and we start facing enemies that are annoying. You know, enemies that rush us down. Enemies that don't die in 10 hits, they take like 30. Alright, we, we got the money necessary to check this. Uh, okay, this is great. Strength card, Fool card, Empress card, Hagalazarun. This is not great. <laughs> Uh, I think we're better off with like the Empress out of all of these. We can't really use the Fool too well, but I am going to. Um, what I'll do is I'll use the Fool to get into this room, open it up, and give me a Guppy item. Our flies are going to be so bad, but a second Guppy item with soy milk is actually great so that we can actually, like, you know, do something. Um, so we're going to Fool card out. Now we have our second Guppy item. We still have Book of Shadows, which is better for us. What I'm getting at is basically like the gu the guppy item's utility is bad, except as a guppy item, which is fantastic. Soy milk plus guppy, you know what you lose in um, the actual damage per fly, you definitely gain or have a chance to gain, I guess, in terms of just the sheer number of flies that you put on the screen. So uh, it's a tinted rock. Small rock would also be such a huge get for us. Unfortunate that we haven't had the opportunity so far. Maybe I've missed out on some. Rock Tinteds that I shouldn't have missed out on. I really would not expect to deal with the Devil here, but man, if we can get a Curse Room Guppy item, all of a sudden, this Soy Milk turns from a, 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 a hindrance into an asset. I was trying to think of something that means hindrance, but starts with A, so I could get some alliteration on it. This is why I'm always fighting for Quiplash on the show, man. That's how my brain works, unfortunately. Um... Couldn't come up with it there, so that's probably like a good, you know, 200 points or not that impressive. Again, might as well use Book of Shadows. Uh, hoping for good tarot cards, black hearts. Anything along these lines. And oh my god, if we could just have the same luck that we've had in Rebirth runs lately and pick up uh, Death's Touch from this item room, I would be so happy. Two of spades. Oh, and goes baby. Might as well pop it right away. That's a really good turn of events for us. SMB Superfan is good or even great. Um, it's something at least. Empress card still valuable, I think. I don't really want Converter. I don't really want any of that, to be honest with you. There isn't much that I feel I need. Piercing shots. And a lust that bleeds. That's... The, your number one stop on YouTube for terrible covers of five-year-old Animal Collective songs uh, with Rebirth-focused lyrics. You wouldn't think the market would be that high. It's actually saturated. Anyway. Let's, uh, freaking take out these human popcorns and get a move on here. I'm still a little disappointed by the fact that it's taken 132,000 years here for us to finish the run, despite having Judas' the Shadow, but that's the soy milk conundrum, isn't it? That's the... That's the reason you, you often don't take it, and that's exactly the reason I do take it. That doesn't make any sense, but it's just, you know, imagine it's like in a movie trailer or something. He does what he does for reasons unbeknownst. Uh, that's a great title for a movie, Reasons Unbeknownst. Reasons Unbeknownst. Starring Liam Neeson. I don't know why they have to say his voice like that. Introducing Liam Neeson. All right, we should have popped Empress card first because we wasted a little bit of our invincibility. I wonder if I can get, um... Oh, I should walk into them for Poison Touch. I forgot about that, but, uh... I wonder if we can get, uh... The creep under enemies like this. That was not a smart dodge on my part. We got a lot of leapers on the screen complimenting... Or complicating my dodges a little bit. We did get a deal with the devil. A little bit surprised. Speed up is nice. Oh, we have to. I, I can't not take Mom's Knife in this situation. It, it really is like a life or death situation, possibly. I've got to go for it. And we got a health upgrade, which is awesome. Our damage is still going to be terrible because we have um, soy milk. But this should give us a great chance of winning. I still want to become Guppy, even though the flies don't really work well with Mom's Knife. But uh, 
I, I still do want to become Guppy because the occasional fly is better than none, and also the ability to fly for relative free is pretty sweet. Um, it's another good opportunity to use uh, Book of Shadows here for sure. I would love IV Bag. Come on, come on. We're still gonna go like all the way down here. Oh. I didn't mean IV bag, I actually meant blood bag, so I think we got lucky there that it worked out. And one cent donation, as is typical lately, but we're still uh, trending slightly upwards there, I think. I was actually trying to get this early so that I could actually use it on this room, but I ended up taking damage. Shit happens, okay. Let's, uh... I mean, I don't really want the golden poop, but I think, if we're being honest, it's probably worth the key. Even though I might not be able to buy anything from our shop and our donation machine's already broken. I'm not gonna sweat it. I mean, we have 15 keys, so it, well, it's no skin off my scrote, basically. Hopefully we get a uh, black card soon, because I am still in the market for deals with the devil. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm a cool dad. Just, uh, just to be safe. Uh, I'm still in the market for deals with the devil. A guppy item would mean a lot. Like, a guppy's paw in particular. Oh, nice. A guppy's paw in particular is uh, a run winner guaranteed. You know, put us in that permanent Polaroid invincibility state. Also gives us guppy at the same time. So, the stars card. Hmm. I think we'll just buy the spirit heart and then go, honestly. We'll use our stars card here. I was thinking maybe I could use it. Oh, I've already been to the item room. But it's not like we could have used it for anything else anyway. What are we going to do? Pop that on the womb? Um. I was thinking we could maybe use it to get into our boss trap room, but it's not really necessary. That's our secret room in all likelihood. Not used to enemies living through like three mom's, wow, four mom's knife hits, but again, that's soy milk. Also, a single tap of the knife is, like of the keyboard, sends the knife flying like halfway across the screen. It's remarkable. I think we're gonna be better off against bosses though, you know, enemies we can focus on. I don't really see a huge desire to um, attack those bosses for two silver chests. Red chests and golden chests I would probably be in for. Speed up is worth it. Oh, farts. Well, we're better off with Book of Shadows for sure. I mean, that was a huge loss of HP for me, but I really thought that it was just going to give us another uh, blood bag, and I was like, oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Instead, we took some red heart damage, and not all of it was from uh, IV bag. So, uh, our deal with the devil chances are probably like completely squandered. Let's try not to die against Mom. This would be a really, really sad way to go here. Cause five HP is a really good opportunity for us. We do have Book of Shadows, so I'm not gonna sweat that too, too much. You can see, like, our damage is not really bringing it home. And that's why, that's why I take soy milk. Because it's an interesting item. Makes things weird. That's our deal with the devil chance, like, completely evaporated. We will be doing, uh, Polaroid on this run. I don't feel confident going for, uh, negative here. Yes, we didn't get anything else. Alright, down to the next floor. Really, really don't want to die. It's possible that we could still win, even if we did die. I just don't want to come back with 1 HP if we can avoid it. That's going to help out a lot. Book of Shadows is going to be like our our man in the pit here. I don't know what that means, man in the pit. It's like a mixture of, you know, television production and auto racing. One thing is for sure. A loss like this, so soon after that, like, triple Ipecac loss, would break my heart. It would It would break my heart, man. I'm in no danger of stopping Rebirth anytime soon. Um, I love this game. And in in many ways, it sounds like I'm talking out of my ass, but like Rebirth is kind of like a language that I, I learn and, and I, I grow in, which is cool. It, it's amazing that there are games like that. Um, but at the same time, I would be like, you know what? I need to spend some time speaking, you know, parcel tongue or something. Farsi. Um... Well, also keeping my skills in the language sharp, you know, like I... I don't know what I'm talking about. It's basically what I'm trying to get at. I'm still shaken from that Animal Collective parody earlier. This is a bad room. Great room if we can fly. Great room if this guy never stops targeting my best friend. 
which is exactly how that went down. Again, to be able to use uh, Book of Shadows like every second room is a huge weight off my shoulders. It saves me so much trouble. This guy's gonna be annoying though. Please. Please! How can it possibly take six hits even with uh, soy milk? I'm starting to think the biggest problem with Soy Milk Mom's knife is not even the, uh, the low damage, which is obviously an issue, but not necessarily the largest issue. The actual problem seems largely to be that it's it's so hard to get the knife to stay where you want it to stay, you know? Like, I have a, I have a method for using Mom's knife that tries to keep the knife in the center of the enemy's hitbox for as long as possible. It, uh, is more difficult to do with a shot that fires so quickly. I'm really hoping, like, we get, um, more, not, not even tinted rocks, but more, uh, polyps, because those are the ones that can drop red hearts for me, so I'm, I'm hoping that every one of these rooms we use Book of Shadows on has the opportunity for us to blow up some polyps, but it hasn't happened yet. Oh, my farts! I'm so mad about that one! Um, let's, let's do it. Dub Loki's. I hate this room. It's the worst room. Let's uh, let's not die here. One Loki's gotta go. One Loki. There we go. Now we don't die. I can't stress this part of the plan enough. We don't die. Oh God, we've come back as not Dark Judas. Not Dark Judas. No, we should still be Dark Judas. Why are we doing this room? Because there's a curse room adjacent to it, and that makes all the difference. Are we still Dark Judas? I don't know! I don't know if we're still Dark Judas. How do I get into this curse room? I hate everything right now. All things considered, that's not that bad, but it sucks, also. Please. Please! That's not our... Ah! How do I get in there? I, what I don't want to do is get trapped forever. Could this be a secret room? Okay, I think if I go in with this... Okay, we got, we got a spirit heart, so that allows me to leave. But I was also like, we could just bomb our way out to get out if we have to. Yo, this is a fucking nightmare, man. There is a tinted rock. Of course, I, I forgot that that enemy has creep. Because, of course, he has creep. This is gonna be a capitulation of the highest order. Fuck you, soy milk! Don't try to make me play unzany. We're still in this one, man. I'm in it to win it. Emperor, so good. Um. Tell you what. We're just gonna try this here. I don't think there's many ways out of this situation that don't involve me playing better, basically. So I do think that this is going to be a challenge. I think this is going to be a, a big big challenge. Uh, with Mom's Knife, the bombs don't push anymore, I forgot. Okay. Here we go. The throws are coming fast and furious this week. That's alright. That's alright. This is fine. Any damage that we do... Is an investment. We got him trapped, boys! He got out! Point the knife away from the bombs. Oh, Jesus. We gotta kill the bombs! Oh! It's alright. More. It's free damage. <laughs> it's free damage. It's free damage. We got. We're doing well. We're doing okay. Well might be a stretch. Just hit him! Just get in there and do a... Yeah! That was a good one. Okay. Oh, we got you. We are doing this. No stopping us. Affirmative. Help. Okay. No, we're fine. Affirmative. Almost done. Almost done. One's dead. Second one is approaching the end of his life. Kill the bomb fly. Don't die before the bomb fly dies. We did it! We gotta deal with the devil. 
it contained a deal with the devil. It contained two deals with the devil. And spiders. That's not so good. Um, how much do I want at speed upgrade? Oh, enough. Uh, so check this out. Baby. Uh, I think we're gonna do this floor. As much as it scares me. Don't be afraid to use Book of Shadows. We're gonna do this floor. And then we're gonna skip the cathedral, hopefully. Although I don't have super... Oh, oh, it's great. But we don't want to use it until we know that there's HP on the ground. Oh, God! This could allow us to rebuild. Man, this would have been so much easier if I had just not been an idiot. And, uh... Like, made sure that I got back to full HP on the first floor. Like, the floor where this, all, this shit all started going wrong, you know? Yo. There's my HP. Okay, so we're not... All's not lost. We have one full heart. That's great stuff. I think that this one HP is going to allow us to rebuild. Speed up. Why not? Right? Um. Yes, this is important. Take the HP. Come back this way. Grab this. This room scares me a great deal. They're both focusing on my best friend. It's the greatest. Oh, we made it. Okay. Next room. No stopping us. Spirit heart, please. We're rebuilding. Two red hearts. Actually still pretty useful. Big room. No thank you, sir. Perhaps at a later moment. I will take you up on your offer. Probably should not dodge into um, the path of my best friend. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Any tinted rocks? I do not see tinted rocks. Oh, we did it! Oh, no! I have to, I have to. I hate doing it, but I have to. Because I've got to live. I've got to survive this room. And then we can go back and get our HP. I don't really want to fight Mom's hearts without Book of Shadows, though. So we'll continue the damnable cycle here. He's done. We're almost done here. Great stuff. Great stuff. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. Uh, let's look for a secret room. Blackheart. Oh, the dream. Just do as much damage to the, the boss as you can. And I'm not talking about uh, Bruce Springsteen. This is going to take... Oh my god, it's actually going really well. <laughs> I was like, this is going to take forever may actually not take forever. That was really good! It does suck that I lost that black card right at the very end. But we've at least made it to the cathedral now. And from the cathedral, we can be in an okay position, I think. We're gonna do like one room to try to get um, Book of Shadows charged. I I'm regretting this decision immensely. Yeah, there we go. What's more important, Book of Shadows or 1 HP? I actually think it's probably Book of Shadows, strangely enough. Good. Get the damage done however you can. Doesn't matter. It's like uh, Janet Jackson's song from The Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps. Doesn't really matter. Help. Okay, we're fine. Oh, red hearts. Ooh, those are not red hearts. Okay, well, I think we gotta do a little bit more exploration. We may end up saving the Emperor card for the chest if, you know, there's a benevolent force in the universe and we actually make it to the chest. Um, that would be fine. That would allow us to skip even more difficult rooms. But we gotta get HP. Like, that's non-negotiable. Now, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, why don't we just try to save the Emperor card for the chest? I think it gives us the best chance possible of pulling a, a victory out of our hat here. Oh, this would be so much easier with 5 HP. But I like it because, you know, we, we definitely have to work for it here. It's not a spirit heart. Lemon Party is pretty good, though. Oh, small rock, finally. I am not sad. I have to try this. Oh! We're guppy! Losing the HP is really bad. I don't think Brother Bobby's worth the risk. Um, but everything else about this is incredible. I don't, we don't really want bombs or key. Um, so we have... We are, we're guppy now. Um, was it worth the one heart? I really think that it's probably one of the only ways we come out of this with a win, so sure. Um... 
I think that it is worth one heart. Our flies are still gonna suck, but the fact that they exist is important. Um, the ability to fly hopefully will prevent dumb creep-based deaths. I guess I'll use Lemon Party. You know what? I'm not even gonna use Lemon Party on Chubb. I'm just gonna kill Chubb, and then we'll use Lemon Party on like a different room. We still have our Emperor card, which is so important. I'm gonna use Lemon Party on Chubb, because it turns out this guy's actually kind of annoying. Other pills, not that good. Yeah, Bombs are Key is not very useful for us. We did get an Eternal Heart. Oh, sweet. We did get an Eternal Heart, and we are gonna want this Eternal Heart. Now, we could go into the Curse Room and then use the Emperor card to get out. It might not seem like that big of a deal, but it actually could be the difference between a win and a loss if using that Curse Room gives us, uh, like, a couple of Spirit Hearts. I think we have to try this. Oh, uh, it's such a risk, though. What if our boss is just around the corner? Ah, uh, it's the... It's, that's life, man. That's, that's our life right now. Doing a ton of damage, though. Okay, don't get hit here. Well, it doesn't really matter if you get hit, but we probably want as many lives as possible for the chest itself. This room sucks. This is this is terrible. Um, we can always use the Emperor card to get out of the situation. Um, but I think I'll just go try to get like one more room and then get Book of Shadows ready. This is actually a great room to use Lemon Party if I don't drop it literally like in the exact middle of them. Come on, one fly? No flies from that? I know Mom's Knife and Flies, they don't necessarily go well together. Oh my god, this is this is a fucking puzzle box here. This is this is Mr. Saw's puzzle box. Much better. Gotta kill like some of them. Killed all of them. Whipworm. Uh the last thing we need right now is better shot speed. We need it like we need a kick in the teeth. Good, 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 good. Okay. Can't do anything with that HP. I'm... You know, well, let's use it. These low keys have historically been a little bit of an issue. In case you didn't notice. One is dead. Other one is well injured. Very, very quiet. We gotta go back for that Emperor card and the Eternal Heart. After we finish this floor, that Eternal Heart is is king. They keep... They're moving too much! They're moving too much! It's bullshit! It's bull and shit! That is nonsense! Fuck these bomb flies, dog! Extremely tempted. Oh, don't do me dirty like this. It's actually, in a weird way, it's made a lot worse by the existence of my best friend because it makes them slightly less predictable. Do you want to try this way? Oh, this could be great. Gluttony is not a difficult boss fight with our ability to fly. Drop HP. Drop HP. Drop HP. That wasn't specific. Um, we don't need money. Flatworm does nothing, but at least it's it's a good luck charm, you know? Well, we're in a tight spot. My hunch is that we should try this. Go into the curse room. Oh, it's bad. Book of Shadows, the way out. Yes, we can complete this HP. This is actually pretty important. It means we should be able to survive that other room down there. Um, with the bomb flies. I don't think it's going to be easy, but it means we should be able to survive it at least. I wish I could just tell my best friend to fuck off for a minute. One's dead. One's dead. Now we can't get hit. I mean, we literally can, but I really cannot afford to. Cursed Skull. No thank you. <sighs> what is it? Just a nice little leisurely mom's knife run here. What's the problem, right? Mr. Postman, look and see. I took soy milk. What happened to me? Oh, please, Mr. Edmund, baby. 
Can I get a magic mush? I don't know where that song was going at all. Oh yeah, wait a minute, Mr. Tyrone, please. Mr. Tom, Mr. Tyrone, look and see. Soy milk needs to be better for me. Just your standard 42 minute long 2 HP mom's knife run. Oh, it's a crawl space! What does this crawl space contain? A single iron chest. Ahoy! Not particularly useful, unfortunately. Two Emperor cards. We gotta be like right next to the boss, so I gotta, you know, think that Emperor card number two is not that valuable. Oh! Where did he come from? Yeah, well, shall we look for a second secret room? I think that's better than using our bomb on the boss at this point. My thinking? Let's try to avoid using Book of Shadows once. We can always use it after we get hit, if we get hit. I want to avoid it, because then I could use Book of Shadows immediately on the chest and not have to deal with the wild cards that are the other rooms, you know? Oh, that was extremely close to being a real problem. We're in a great position now. I am... I don't want to say I'm skeptical of our chances against Blue Baby. But I think Blue Baby should be harder than Isaac, but that could change very much in our favor if we're lucky enough to get good chest items. And I think that we have piloted through the thunderstorm here, and we've got a pretty good chance of landing on the tarmac. In one piece, at that. Um, it wasn't easy, but it's looking like it might be done. Whew! Okay, we could have easily gone to the brink and not come back there, so I feel good about myself to some extent. That's damage, I think. Uh, eh. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't think we need any extra tears. This would be great if we didn't have Mom's Knife, but um, we do. These are great items. Let's give this a try. Um, so I'm thinking, like, why, why pop Book of Shadows right now? We'll save it until we get hit, and maybe we'll have some extra confidence that we can, you know, finish the fight on that level of HP, if you know what I mean. Like... We could actually use Book of Shadows to guarantee us a win instead of just guaranteeing us a lot of damage at the start. Now, it might be the same amount of damage, but it's worth the, the switch, I think. It's a cognitive shift. And I think we've just done it. Wow. Um, a little risky. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.